Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the 2020 Range Rover Velar SVA, and this SUV is just absolutely crazy. So again, a huge shout out and thank you to Range Rover here in Salt Lake for providing us with the Velar SVA. Definitely check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get into the video. Now under the hood here of the Velar S V8, we have a supercharged five liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 20 on the highway with power outputs being 550 horsepower and then 502 pound feet of torque. Oh, quickly, here is the key fob. The reason I'm showing this is it has a trick light system. So you can see that it turns on the light. You can see that it turns off the light as well. But the other cool thing is you do get this little kind of like black plaque here at the top that just says Range Rover on it. Now coming over to the side, notice that the lettering itself, it kind of got like the black here. It's kind of like a little pattern design inside the letters, which I think is a pretty neat little touch. Now the whole grill has been kind of like blacked out. Obviously it looks sportier. You have way more venting here at the bottom. I love the accent lights. So you got kind of like the light that comes here and they have the other light. And then you guys saw the full LED headlights themselves. Now, yes, it does have a front splitter, which I mean, it's an SUV, but it's also a hardcore performance SUV. So that's pretty cool. There are parking sensors that are integrated there as well. But yeah, there's one more look at the Velar SVA. Now coming to the side of the Velar here, we've got 265 millimeter tires and 22 inch rims in the front. The rear is actually the exact same and notice that everything is flush. We'll go over that in a moment. But these 22 inch rims are absolutely ridiculous. They're kind of like a metallic gray in coloration. Then you do get the red brake calipers as well. And then I love how they have this body line that just continues all along the Velar. Now when the car is locked, notice that the door handles are flush. So it gives the side angle just like this nice clean look on the Velar. Now here's our key fob for the Velar. And notice that you just have your unlock, your lock, and then the release for the tailgate. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And if we actually do pop into the back, notice that we do get a traditional cargo cover. So all I have to do is just pull this and it'll go back into place. It has this nice little track that it goes along, which is, again, a really nice implementation. And then this one does have the air suspension. So notice that you can press these buttons to raise or lower the back. So it makes getting things like these uh, boxes into the rear a lot easier. You do get rubber floor mats. And then under all of this, if we can uh, kind of climb, you get this nice leather strap. And then under that, you do get a spare. Notice the uh, coloration on the spare is just crazy. I think they do that so that people will like, if they have the spare on, that they'll quickly get a new stock wheel so that they don't look ridiculous with an orange wheel. But regardless of that, when you are done with the rear, the button to close it is just right here at the top and then it'll pop back down. Now here's the back of the Velar SVA. So first off, we've got the taillights and then notice that they have that cool like 3D look to them, which I really like. And then you have the Range Rover letters, which again, you've got kind of like the little black inside of the lettering, which is pretty neat. And then the exhaust tips down below, I mean, giant square exhaust tips, but you guys can actually see inside of the uh, little exhaust setup right there. Do get a receiver hitch down below. And then if you're wondering why it has an A after SV, well, it's for autobiography, but yes, that is everything for the rear of the Velar. Now we have the door handle in the back, so you just press that, that'll unlock it, and then, yep, you can open it up to look at the whole door panel here in the rear. I love all the soft touch here at the top and the bottom, and then the piano black trim, another nice little touch. Couple speakers for the sound system itself, and then here are the seats in the back of the Velar, so you got this nice kind of like quilted design that goes all the way down with the leather, and you get all the stitching and everything, just a really nice little touch, and then notice that it is power to move it forward and backwards, which again is a really nice touch, but we're gonna pop in. So stepping in, stepping height's actually really good and it is really comfortable here. So we are going to uh, shut the door so we get a little bit of privacy back here. No, just kidding. But you do get this storage pocket here on the back of the seat. And then notice that you can control the climate from the rear here and the back, obviously when the uh, car is on. Got a couple vents back here. And then we have the little kind of like cup holder pull-out situation in the back, which is pretty neat. And then notice that behind it, there are a couple little 12 volt charging stations. And if you guys are wondering, I'm about five foot 11 and I got plenty of headroom, even with this panoramic sunroof. Now we have that same trick door handle system here in the front. So just press that and well, everything will pop open. And then notice the door panel here in the front looks identical to the one in the rear. The only difference is you do get a couple controls here on the side of the door panel itself and your memory seat controls. A couple more speakers for the sound system. 
Now here are the seats in the front. Again, it's got that really nice quilted design on these seats, which I really like. And then you got the nice like stitching throughout all of that. You get your power adjustments on the side, which they actually look really nice. And they actually feel nice to the touch as well. And then there are the pedals, which again, I really like the look on the pedals with the new Velar. You got the release for like the tailgate, for example, your parking brake. Adjustment for the steering wheel is on the opposite side of it. There are the paddles. Well, now I've got to start up the Velar, so got to push that in. And well, all the screens will come to life and ooh, yes, it sounds good. Here's our steering wheel in the Velar SVA. Now zooming in, I love the little controls on the side of the steering wheel. So this is the cruise control on that side. And I mean, I just love the look of all of the buttons on it and the heated steering wheel. I mean, it's just a pretty cool little function, just how that actually works and everything. Now coming down here, you've got this nice like piano black trim, and then you've got the black stitching with the black leather. And then if you look really close, it is black perforated leather. And then you have these controls for the little center menu. Paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel to shift shift the gears yourself and the actual feel of the pedals is very nice to the touch. You got the stock for the turn signal and for the lights and you got the windshield wiper stock on the other side. Now we do have the little center stack here. So you've got the speed on the left side, on the right side here, you've got the RPMs and then there in the center, you've got little Velar and there are a couple different menus you can scroll through. It just gives you basic information on the vehicle. So most modern vehicles come with this. There's nothing too crazy on that part of the system. Now the cool part is the drive modes. I'll show you guys the drive modes select a little bit later in the video. But if I go through the different drive modes, I want you guys to kind of see how it'll change on this little center screen. So notice that when I went over to kind of like your sporty drive mode, right? It shows the Velar and obviously next to an aggressive scene. Now I've got the eco mode on and it tells me which mode I am going through here on the little center screen. I just like the little graphics that it has for each kind of like motion um, for the drive mode. So I'm just gonna go through the rest of those just so you guys can see the rest of the drive modes and then also notice how to adjust the suspension depending on the drive mode. Here's the center infotainment system. I'm gonna pop it in reverse. You guys can see the backup camera first and foremost. Resolution on it, super solid. If you guys remember from my first Velar review, this backup camera system is identical to it. I mean, everything looks the same. Now, getting out of the backup camera, I love the little menu that they have here. So it basically just has shortcuts to every single thing you're gonna use on the vehicle. And you guys can see response time as I'm pressing everything. The other neat thing is in the settings, you can change the screen angle. So you can basically make the screen more or less inclined, which I think is a nice little feature. And then notice that you have the themes. The black theme looks a lot nicer. I'll pop over to that so you guys can kind of see what that looks like with the screen. So this bottom screen right now is in the black theme and now the top one is. It looks nicer, it just kind of makes it less visible with the sun being so bright. So we're sticking with the uh, white theme. Now we do have all of the controls here in this little area. I'm on the climate tab for the second screen. And then notice if I push in, then it'll go over to the seat controls. And if I push in, it'll go back to climate. I think that's a pretty neat little shortcut, even though I can just press the button to go over to the seats. But nevertheless, you do have the climates up here and then you have the climate in the rear, but I have it sync. So if you press the sync button, it syncs all of the climate zones in the entire Velar. Other than that, this does have the little drive modes. So this is actually where you select through the different drive modes. So you can do the dial or you can just press the drive mode. So notice I can switch over and it'll go over the drive mode or I can press the little button on the screen and then it'll go into the different drive mode. And then we do get the exhaust button right here. So you can press it to turn it on or off with the exhaust, which I think is a nice little feature because obviously we're gonna have that function on 24 seven. Coming down below, you guys can see the rest of the controls like the climate system, and then you have your stability control, hill descent. We do get this like trick cup holder that's just like, bam, and it pops out like that, which is pretty neat. You get the dial shifter, so if I turn off the SVA, it'll pop down and go into its hiding place. And then if I turn it back on, it kind of comes out, and yeah, it goes into its place. Now you do have a manual shift mode, so if you press over drive, notice it won't move anymore. To go into manual shift mode, I do have to kind of turn it over like that pretty simple unit to use. Do you get a 12 volt right here? Another cup holder. I like the armrest in the Velar, so they are separate and they stick at every single point. So notice that I can have both of the armrests open and I can have them at completely different points or can have them at the same point. It is lined with felt. You do get a couple USBs and another 12 volt. Now closing all that up, you have the material on the top, which is very nice leather with the stitching. You get more leather and stitching here at the dash just above the glove box. Glove box again is lined with felt and there's a look at it. 
Now up top here, we do have the full panoramic sunroof. Now you can just barely press the controls and that'll like very lightly open the sunroof or if you fully press in the control, then it'll just do it automatically. I like that they have that function. And then notice we do have an Alcantara headliner. So obviously the SVA is gonna have that because it's the sportier variant. Now here is our laminated window sticker for the Velar SVA. The color, I think you pronounce that Firenze red, Firenze, I don't know. I'm probably mispronouncing it so bad. I'm. I'm sorry, Land Rover. But regardless, if you guys want to freeze the frames on any part of the window stickers, you can go through the options up there. Is that little category? Just so you guys can see, the optional equipment area I thought was pretty interesting. So the color is actually a no cost option, which I mean, that's nothing too crazy. Driver assistance package, that's not crazy. The crazy part's a sound system. So Meridian Signature Sound System, $3,060, which, yeah, crazy. But coming down to the total MSRP, Oops, $101,068. That all being said, let's take this Vlar SVA out and see how it drives. quickly show you guys visibility in the Velar SVA before we set off. So visibility over the hood, I mean, it's just like the other Velar I drove. So it's really easy to see out of. And I like this dash. It just feels and looks pretty nice. There is visibility through the side. And then also we do get the blind spot monitoring. There is visibility through your other mirror. And then here is all throughout the rear. So they kind of do like a little bit of a slope design, but the Range Rovers in general are a little bit more square. So the windows are actually pretty easy to see out of, even with this more like sloped back design Velar. That all being said though, well, we got to do the uh, dial. Let's set off. I'm initially setting off here in the Velar SVA and I did what I was told to do, which is instantly turn on the exhaust function. Now for your guys' sake, I'm going to like very slightly roll down the windows so that hopefully we get a little bit more sound from the exhaust. And right now we're in the normal mode. So this is kind of like your like luxury feel. And actually, let me just close the window so I can talk about like the sound quickly. You hear the exhaust, like no matter what, while you're just sitting there idling, you hear the exhaust. Like it's just always rumbling in the background, which is really nice. If I turn it off, it's a little bit quieter, but you still just hear like the exhaust rumbling, which I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's just this really nice sound. Um, but other than that, like the rest of the noise, like downtown Salt Lake here is pretty loud. And I mean, it mitigates the noise really well. Now here at lower speeds, the exhaust is actually pretty manageable and pretty quiet. I mean, you hear like a little bit coming through into the cabin, but not a whole lot, which is nice, right? You just have that like nice, luxurious experience, but you still know that you got something crazy happening in the back. Now I am going to put it into the manual shift function so I can shift the gears myself. Ooh, when you do the manual shifts, it sounds crazy. Yeah, this exhaust is just crazy. So I gotta roll up the window so we don't get too much wind buffeting. But yeah, it's crazy. And I'm gonna put it over into the uh, sport mode, not eco, it went over into eco. I want sport. So now I'm over in the sport mode. I wanna see how the transmission like shifts, performs, all that kind of stuff. And so far in this sport mode, I mean, the gear shifts are really quick. It's what I expected from the Velar SVA. It's I mean, they're just quick, they're very smooth. Something else that's really random that I wanna mention is how comfortable this is. Like right now, I'm just cruising down the road. I have my massage seats on. Well, I shouldn't say my, I have the Velars massage seats on and I've got the air condition function on. Like I'm just so comfortable in this. It's just crazy. Like this is what luxury feels like. And it is, it feels, it feels really nice. I wanna get a couple more, well, I can't really get more downshifts, but I'm gonna try to get a couple more downshifts. Yeah, those downshifts, it's quick. Like it just, it's snappy. Even with the downshifts, when you're not on power, it's just snappy. I'm trying to create a little bit of distance for myself so I can get a proper acceleration here with the SVA. 
but I also don't want to me mess with the people behind me. Okay, so that was like our minor acceleration and it's so quick. Like it just gets on the power just like instantly. That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I'm actually like, I guess like pretty much on the interstate. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of a like pass up here and see how that feels. So I'm downshifting into a lower gear. Oh, and the exhaust. Like that exhaust note as well is ridiculous. I probably look like I'm driving like an idiot because like I kind of am. This has like too much power for on-road use to be honest. Like I know that I shouldn't say that in a car review, but it kind of does. Like it it has too much power for on-road use pretty much. It's just, this is crazy. Like this is a crazy SUV. I just, I don't know what else to say. And I'm going to try to get you guys like another little like blip of that exhaust but i'm not going to talk at all this time so the next time i'm going to try to just get you guys like pure like just what the exhaust sounds like because it's so cool on those upshifts it's just ridiculous now before i get you guys that kind of like exhaust um i just want to talk about handling so it's actually handles really flat for an suv like i am very surprised by just kind of like how quick pretty much i can go around corners in this no i'm not driving it like a race car driver but you can tell that this just corners so flat and well i will attempt everything i can in this traffic to get any sort of uh resemblance of what an acceleration is <laughs> okay there there you go there's your uh there's your clip, guys, and hopefully you heard that. And I wonder if it does like the little, geez, that is, oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't even fathom. Like this thing is crazy. I don't know, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Like this is crazy. And here's the thing is I am comparing this to the Jeep Trackhawk because frankly, they're like the same price. Now I know that the Trackhawk has way more horsepower than this, but the thing about this Velar SVA is it just feels crazier, right? The exhaust sounds crazier and you don't get as much supercharged wine, which is pretty interesting. I'm wondering why Jaguar does that, but I mean, it still sounds just fantastic. You don't get as much supercharged wine, but just everything about this, it's just, it's a crazy SUV. I don't know I don't know like what what else to put it as like it's just it's loud and it's it's so it's so insane and man i got a tunnel here but i don't have the room to accelerate yeah have just those up shifts i mean it's ridiculous i want to see if it does like the f type thing it doesn't look like it does it i'll try again Yeah, it doesn't do the uh, thing that the F-Type um, SVR does, where it does like the uh, popples and crackles out of the exhaust. So that's the one thing that I wish that the Vlar did was kind of like the like, you guys know what I'm talking about, where it does like the popples and crackles. Regardless of that though, I mean, it does, it does really well. Now I am here at a stoplight and I guess I'm gonna use this to sum things up for the Vlar SVA. Yes, $100,000 is a pretty large amount of money, but, you get this crazy supercharged V8. This feels really, really quick. It sounds amazing. I love the interior. I love the exterior looks. I definitely feel like it's worth it. And to be completely frank, if I had to choose between a Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk stock and this completely stock, I would actually go for this. Even though it has less power, everything about this just feels nicer than the Grand Cherokee. And frankly, it's also more exciting to drive. And I think a big part of that is the fact that this weighs about a thousand pounds less than a Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, so it has a more nimble feeling, and we're gonna get acceleration here in the normal mode. Yeah, even off the line, like, it's just, it's good. Like, it gives you the right amount of power. When you want it to be like snappy and sporty, it does it. When you want it to be just like this calm, smooth luxury SUV, it does it. Like, it has this like dual character kind of like personality to it, and. I really like it. So 
if you are on the market for a six-figure luxury performance SUV, you have to check out this new Velar SV. It is just out of this world. There we have it everyone, the 2020 Range Rover Velar SVA. This is just a crazy performance SUV. But again, a huge shout out and thank you to Land Rover Jaguar here in Salt Lake for providing us with the Velar SVA. Check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for new Range Rover. I will see all of you in that next video.